In this part 2 video of the 8255 PPI, the chip is programmed in mode 1, where ports A and B are strobed I.O. ports. This means that both I.O. ports will have handshake signals to facilitate the interfacing of complex peripherals. We will program the 8255 PPI to be in mode 1, more specifically strobed output meaning that both ports A and B will be output ports with handshake signals. To program port A in mode 1 strobed output, the CPU must send this control byte into the 8255. Once the port is programmed and data is available to be output, the 8255 will send this uh, handshake signal output buffer full to the peripheral indicating to the peripheral that data is ready to be acquired. Once the peripheral receives the data, it will respond with an acknowledgement signal back to the 8255. In a similar way, to program port B in mode 1 strobe output, this is the control byte required to do this, and these are the handshake signals associated with port B. This is the same circuit from the previous video with slight modifications to demonstrate the operation of the 8255 in mode 1. In mode 1, four pins of port C are now used as handshake signals for port A and for port B. PC7 is now connected to this uh, yellow LED to indicate the output buffer full signal. And this push button here is connected to PC6 to indicate the acknowledgement signal from the peripheral. PC1 of uh, port C is connected to this uh, blue LED to indicate output buffer full. And uh, this push button is connected to PC2 to indicate the acknowledgement signal coming from the peripheral. Now for a quick demo, we set the address for the control register, then we set the required command byte, then we write the byte to the 8255. Next we set the address for port A and set the output data, then write the output data to port A. The yellow LED turns on, which is the output buffer full handshake and then the output device will respond by sending back the acknowledgement handshake. Now we set the address for port B and write the output data to port B. The blue LED output buffer full turns on and the device responds by sending back the acknowledgement handshake signal. In a future video, I will interface the 8255 PPI with an 8-bit CPU such as the Z80 to have the CPU send and receive data from I.O. peripherals. Thank you for watching.